Welcome to the channel DIY Simplified. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build this. So basically, it's a free hanging shelf. We have some half inch pipe here, galvanized pipe, and basically it's a finished product. We're gonna show you how I made this project. Alright, so this is what the kitchen looks like with the table there. I don't like how much it sticks out. And so I'm going to redo this area with a freestanding table and some stools or something. Alright, so I went a little easy on this one. Rather than having to glue all the countertop together, I just bought this um, 5 fourths inch by 24 by 6 foot already edge glued countertop so i'm going to use this for my countertop i'm going to cut it down to the proper length i want it at 16 inches so i'm going to use do my table saw to cut that all right we're going to cut this now i've measured have uh eight inches here and the whole piece is 24 inches so it's going to leave us with 16 inches uh, and i have put the good side up that i'm going to stain that way it doesn't get scratched on this surface because I notice it gets scratched sometimes on the surface here. All right, let's get the cut and hang it up straight. sitting for over eight hours I've kind of wiped it down and I took some tape and uh, got all the lint off of it and I had to bring it inside because it's too cold outside in order to use this stain it needs to be above 50 degrees and I don't think in my garage it's over 50 degrees so what I've been using is this triple thick polyurethane um, and so it's gonna take a lot of coats since this is gonna be a high traffic table I'm gonna probably put at least 10 to 15 coats of this polyurethane on it and it needs two hours between coats and every other coat or every third coat I'll sand over the top of it with 220 grit to keep it smooth and no bubbles and so I'm going to start on that now I've also painted this wall so the wall is all painted and put up uh, electrical here so you see 
it's all cleaned up now and the wall is pretty much ready for our um, countertop once it's done. All right, so now it's time to put the countertop on the wall. Uh, first thing we gotta do is locate the studs. And usually studs are 16 inches away from each other on center. So I've already made my mark. I want the tabletop to be 42 inches, which is right about here. So now I need to locate a stud along this wall. So it seems to be a stud right about here. So it seems to be a stud right here. So now I'm 16 inches away from that should be the rest of the studs. So all we'll do is we'll measure 16 inches away from that. So theoretically there should be a stud here. here so I'll find all the stud locations around the wall first all right so now I've found all the studs we have a stud here 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 and here so now I'm going to mark the height along them of the bar that I want to have which is 42 inches I'm just going to mark 42 inches along that This is just going to be for a visual guide, so I know exactly. So I know exactly how high when I apply to the level. Whenever. All right, so basically I'm putting the first bracket on the wall at the 42 inches uh, mark for the table and then um, I'm making sure that it's straight and level and marking the holes. Once I put this into the wall, then we'll put the table on top of it to do the rest. So basically I have to get a baseline on the wall first and then those are along that stud line. Alright, so I got the first bracket on, ready to go. So now we're going to sit the table on the bracket and we're going to put the other side on with the level on the top to ensure that the, the tabletop is level. All right, so now we have the two brackets on. Basically, we put that one on at the height we want. Then we put the board on that, found the level point, marked the spot for this one, put this one on. Now, before I put the rest, I'm gonna screw the top to the bracket to ensure it's perfectly straight and level. Then we'll bring the other three brackets up against it, mark them, and screw them in. And then th that part of the project will be done. And the table will now be mounted to the wall. All right, so now we have all the brackets on, uh, screwed in, ready to go. It's pretty sturdy. So now I've built these uh, pipes, some half inch galvanized pipe, spray painted it with some metallic gray. And now we're gonna mount these to the table for decoration. And I'm gonna also mount them on that stud line with two screws into the stud so it stays put.
All right, so I have these pipe brackets that I built. Just went to the hardware store and got the half inch pipe. And I'm gonna use these to accent the top of the countertop. For these, I've been painting them. I just flipped them over. I'm gonna coat this other side now. And I've been painting them with this um, Rust-Oleum. Uh, I think it's bronze, dark bronze, Rust-Oleum paint. It looks pretty good. So it's getting them a light coat of that and turning them. All right, so I got the table all done. The brackets are now mounted to the wall. Everything is good to go here. So next step is to just replace that outlet. I'm gonna get some decoration here and some stools. And then now we have the free hanging table. Uh, let's see what it looks like from the side here with the pipe. Uh, I think it looks really good and I like it. So once we get the stools and everything, then I'll add that to the video. And you can see the other video where we're wired in the TV and hung it um, and almost done with this part of the kitchen. All right, the project is all done. We got the table finally mounted to the wall. Bought these stools off of Amazon. They were $100 for two. And we have the, I put this bonsai tree here. I thought I need to have something in the middle. And then we have this map of the world with a compass in it. Um, and on a previous video, we put the TV on the wall. So this basic part of the kitchen is done. Uh, give you a close up look at what we're looking at here. So we have the pipe against the wall, free hanging. And then we have the map of the world with the compass. Another angle here. So that's what it looks like. Also got the matching stools for here. Um, one of our next projects is going to be to paint this whole kitchen white and to finish the kitchen completely. So you can see we have the matching stools there, matches that. We got the wall finally painted gray, the trim painted white. Uh, so we're making progress here and stick around if you want to see what else we're doing.